Hi there, it's a really, really windy Sunday out here at the mural and I'm buried in a little cave that I've made. I'm not sure if you can see above me, I've got the plastic all behind me and the barrier over there, all my kits over behind me there in my little cave hidden in here. Um, it's really, really windy and every now and then I need to brace myself against the wall because this barrier keeps blowing on top of me. <laughs> so it's um, extreme muraling again and I've just come out to do one final little thing that the clients asked for which is a really lovely little thing to add to the mural, the social media tags. So I'll switch around and show you. I'll pop my mask back on. There's the mural hiding underneath the barrier over there, hiding up in there. I'm so proud of this mural. And so the other day I did my signature down here to make it look like it was chiseled in the edge of the painted brick. This is all painted here, but it's real from here outwards. So from the circle line inwards is all flat, 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 flat. And um, the brick on the outside is real. So this is the brick surrounding the mural and into the restaurant there. And so uh, the owner of the restaurants asked me to just add some little hashtags down here, which is great fun. So he's um, suggested that I put my Instagram address on there and we'll put the location for Instagram as well. So I've just done three or four coats of paint. I'm using my this is my little um, temporary palette here and I'm just painting in an extra layer of colour. I'll just about put that down and make sure it doesn't away again so I'm just adding extra extra color oh there goes the barrier bracing myself again so um, getting a little bit of extra dark just in some of the letters where it just was a little bit thin so using my tiny tiny brush again uh oh the wind is really strong out here I've just got to hang on every now and then <laughs> A blowy day on Harlong Bay. So it's a painstaking job to letter each of these hashtags, but it's a really good thing to have because sometimes these murals um, have been getting a bit of notoriety and people overseas are seeing them. And so having the hashtag and the address is really good so then when they come and visit Australia they can hunt out the restaurant and have a look and take a selfie in front of the mural that they've seen and heard so much about so that's great fun but this job is quite a crazy job having to do in the wind and quite a painstaking job to get the lettering looking just beautiful without having any stencils or pencil lines or anything. This has just been hand lettered. So I'm really happy with how it's turning out. Just a few more brush strokes to darken it up a little bit. Just in places that might be a little bit pale. So that it'll stand the test of time over years when the all the Australian summer suns, sunshine and rain and whatnot attack it over the years so it'll still stay nice and bright if I do a nice thick layer of paint on. So I think that's looking pretty good. Can you spot any spots that I need to tweak? I think it's looking fairly neat. Let's just fix this in here. Bit of finger painting. tricky doing this painting with all these holes in the bricks 
That makes it extra tricky. But I just want to get the thickness of the letters fairly even. I'm probably at a point where I'm fussing a little bit too much now but it's really nice when you get to the end of a job just to put the last little bits of detail and make them extra extra sweet. just to make it beautiful ah there was one last little thing I wanted to tweak I remember just remembered sometimes I have to switch to white paint to that's my eraser so here I had a little bit of a bit too joining in here so I just want to make that a bit more separate so I just paint it over with my erasing colour On Friday, which is five days away, it's Sunday today, on Friday I'll be coming back here with Phil and we do a two-person team of doing the anti-graffiti clear coat. So finally, so this mural has to stay covered until that day, nice and safe and sound against graffiti criminals. 
and on Friday we finally get to take off the rain cover and all the barricades and everything and unwrap the whole mural finally and it can stay unwrapped because after we've done our day of clear coating it'll be completely safe and it doesn't matter what anyone does to it we can just wipe it off so checking every single letter to make them nice and crisp so the owner of the restaurant really wants them to be visible in the camera when people take their selfies so that's why I'm spending a fair bit of time to just fuss and make each of these letters really crisp and readable not as exciting as watching me paint colorful artwork I know but it's an important part of the job so I love all of it So I think that's all right. I've probably said that before to you, haven't I? And then I keep fussing some more. <laughs> Sometimes you see more when you look at the negative shapes. So negative shapes, we learn about those in the beginner's learn to draw class that I teach. We look at the outside of the shapes that you're painting and see the shapes that are surrounding them. And you see all sorts of new things when you do that. That's what I'm doing now. Trump Moon Gate at Vietnamese Mint. There you go. It's a pretty tedious part of the job, I know, but it's all finished now, so I'm going to pack up all my gear and we'll come back on Friday in five days time and clear coat it and then we won't have to have this barrier covering it up and everyone will be able to enjoy it so we're at vietnamese mint at oxford street balimba in brisbane australia thanks for watching